Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Look Past Limits. If you're new here, we're Steve and Wendy and for the last three months we've been travelling around BC and the Rockies in our self-converted truck camper. Last week we made it to Vancouver Island. We went straight over to the west coast to explore Tofino and New Clulet. And this week we'll be exploring Victoria. If you know us from previous episodes, you'll know that we're not really city people, but Victoria is somewhere that's been high up on our list. It is a city that we really want to see, and hopefully this week will be a good episode. Victoria is actually the capital of BC. Everyone thinks it's Vancouver, but it's actually here in Victoria. in the campsite north of Victoria and today we drove through the city, through downtown, just haven't seen it yet and we made it to the south coast and now we're at Trafalgar Park uh, enjoying this beautiful view. So this lookout that we're at just now is part of a scenic drive that goes all the way around the coast around the outskirts of the city and we didn't know this was here but when we drove down through the city this morning we just wanted to find a car park near the water at a beach or something that we could stop and have some lunch at and then we saw a sign for this scenic drive so we'll follow it round the coast a bit and every so often there's a parking um, just for a, enough space for a few cars that lets you come to one of these viewpoints and it's absolutely spectacular, the scenery is just amazing and the houses dotted in between are something else. I kind of expected there to be some awesome looking houses here, but yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. So we'll go for a drive a bit further around here and stop at a few more spots and take you with us. probably can't make it out on the video because it's quite hazy but over there there's some big snowy mountains and that's Olympic National Park in Washington State and through there again you probably can't make it out but there's an inlet going in there and in there is the city of Seattle. So we continued further round the coast, we had a few more stops for some pictures on the way and we're now at Oak Bay Marina. I can't seem to find any coffee shops so Vendy's making some coffee in the car park here. We'll be getting some funny looks shortly I would imagine, but never mind, we're used to that now. Who's this weirdo boiling water in the car park? So we walked around the marina for ages, we didn't take the GoPro because we had ran out of battery but we got chatting to some local boat owners and we were there for a while and then we've continued round the coast again a bit further and we've found this spot for dinner. What about this? Chef Vendula is on the case again. We still don't know where we're going to sleep tonight because we probably can't sleep here. There's no overnight parking signs, but we'll stay here till it gets dark and then we'll go and find somewhere. I don't know if you guys can make this out on the video or not, but we've just been sitting here having breakfast at the same spot that we were at last night having dinner. And we just saw a spray of water shooting up and there is what we can see three or four 
whales swimming along together. You can, <laughs> that's just that's awesome, eh? <laughs> Last night we stayed at the Oak Bay Marina and today we're planning on going exploring the downtown of Victoria. We're just having a quick stop at Craig Darroch Castle. Uh, it's just a short drive outside of downtown and only five minutes from where we were staying last night. So we'll go and have a look at that first and then we'll head downtown. So there you go, very beautiful. It's Victorian era Scottish baronial style architecture. Um, it's more a manor house than it is a castle if you ask me, but well, what do I know? So here we are, downtown Victoria now. We finally got parked, not because it's too busy, but because we couldn't find a parking lot where the pay machine was actually working. And here in Canada, they're super on it with actually towing you if you don't pay for your parking, so we didn't quite want to risk that. So we've finally found a parking lot and we're on our way. So tell me why you won't. This pub that we've just passed has 50 craft beers on tap. That's pretty awesome, eh? It's maybe a bit, bit early still for a beer, so... We'll come back later. You had a change of t-shirts? <laughs> New t-shirt. <laughs> Spilled a wee shite on my t-shirt, so I bought a new one. <laughs> Very nice. So it seems like we might have found Chinatown. Now, we earlier, but it's actually the oldest Chinatown in Canada and the second oldest in North America. San Francisco is the only place with the, an older Chinatown in the whole North America. Should be pretty cool. Back in Asia here. Yeah, this is awesome. It makes <laughs> us want to go back to Asia so much. Maybe that could be the next trip. Maybe, yeah.
Now this part of the city is reminding us of Auckland in New Zealand. It's really cool. I don't think we've ever been anywhere in a city that it would feel so different. Like we've just came from a very authentic Chinatown. We've been back to the UK. Now I feel like we're in Dubai. This reminds us of New Zealand. If you look over that way, it's like France. It's really cool. <laughs> The only thing that spoils it for me is all the homeless and junkies, unfortunately. Thankfully there's not been too many of them yet really, has there, eh? It's, we didn't really like Vancouver for that, there was, was homeless... There was shock in Vancouver, they were everywhere. crazy, there was just homeless and junkies and people on the street everywhere. Not just it. on the streets, like on the sky train and we were using it to get about and stuff, so you can't really just avoid it. Yeah, they were um, everywhere. And it That's did spoil the vibe of the whole city. I didn't feel nice, safe, I just felt all funny and... This is much, much nicer than Vancouver. We've just found this really cool map painted on one of the walls in the streets here. I don't know how good you guys can make it out on the video, but that's Vancouver up there. And a couple of weeks ago, that's the Sunshine Coast that we've done. There's not actually shown any roads here, but we went up here and then we took the ferry across here to Comox. And then last week we came down and out to Tofino and Euclulet, which were out here. And then back across and through Nanaimo and worked our way down here and we're now down here in Victoria that's Captain Cook arriving in 1778 over here he landed from the first place was Nootka Sound it's just north of Tofino that's pretty cool and down here is Souk and Port Renfrew a couple of places out on the west coast further south that we still need to go out to so that might be next week's video here's some orcas or killer whales who we watched yesterday morning with breakfast this queue is for what is supposed to be the best fish and chips in victoria so if you ever fancy fish and chips in Victoria, red fish, blue fish is supposed to be the best. We're actually not going to bother with it today because we just had fish and chips in the Naimo a couple of days ago. But I think we'll head round to Fisherman's Wharf and look for some seafood instead. So if you're coming here as a break from Vancouver, rather than taking the BC ferries over and bringing the car, you can actually fly directly to here on a float plane. You can also fly from here to Sunshine Coast and out to Tofino and other places around the coast here on these planes, pretty cool. An absolutely beautiful harbour right in the city centre. So where are we heading now? We left the downtown and we're on the waterfront path to the Fisherman's Wharf. What about that for an awesome houseboat?
Cheers. So we've got some fried full fish and some prawns. What do you think? Looking lovely. Yeah. All looks very nice. So how was that? Delicious. Nothing left. <laughs> So now we've got full tummies, we will go for another wander and explore. So in amongst all the restaurants and bars and other goings on down here are these other float homes and they're actually private residences. It is actually just people living here full time in these places. It's so cool. And some of them are actually pretty huge and they're just built on these floating platforms and they're just tied up to the dock no. with dock lines just the same way that the sailboats are. Yummy? It's like a home. So that's it for this week guys, we hope you enjoyed exploring Victoria with us and if you stick around for next week we've got something very exciting and pretty different to share with you. <laughs> yeah and if you haven't subscribed already please do so and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> Cheers guys!